Okay, I'm going to do one of the problems from 2003 AP Calculus Test, uh, Form B, question number one. So it says, let f be the function given by f of x equals 4x squared minus x cubed, and let l be the line y equals 18 minus 3x, and l is tangent to the graph of f. Let r be the region bounded by the graph of f and the x-axis, and let s be the region bounded above or bounded by the uh, graph of f and the line l. Uh, r and s are shown above. Okay, part A says show that L is tangent to the graph of y equals f of x at the point x equals 3. Okay, so basically we need to find the equation of the tangent line um, at x equals 3. So I'm going to find f prime of x. So my f of x equation is here. So I get 8x minus 3x squared. And I'm going to find the slope at x equals 3, so I plug in 3. So I get 8 times 3 minus 3 times 3 squared. So it's 24 minus 27, which is negative 3. So my slope is negative 3. My x value is 3. I need to find the y value of that point as well. So I just plug into my f of x equation. So I get 4 times 9 minus 27, so 36 minus 27, so I get 9. So it's the point 3 comma 9. So when I plug into y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, I get y minus 9 equals negative 3 times x minus uh, 3. So I get negative 3x plus 9 I'm going to add my other 9 over, so I get y equals negative 3x plus 18. Okay, notice that this is the same as 18 minus 3x, so it's the line L. Okay, so we've shown that line L is tangent to the graph at the point 3. So we just found the, tangent, the equation of the tangent line, and it was the same thing. All right, B, find the area of S. All right, this one's a lot more difficult. There's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, some people like to drop straight down here. And you can find the equation of the triangle and then subtract out this little area here. And that's one way you could do it. You could also just do uh, where you change things into your Y variables and you do your right curve, which would be here in green minus your left curve from 0 to 9. So you could do that as well. Um, looking at the equation of f of x, though, it doesn't look like it's going to be easy to uh, solve for x. So we don't want to try, we don't want to do right minus left on that one. Okay, so we need to do something else. Okay, so let's use this, let's do this right triangle setup like we have here. So my right triangle is going to be base times height. So I can tell my height is 9. But I don't know what my base is. So I need to find, so this was 3. I need to find where this is intersecting over there. All right, so my line L, let me start over here. My line L intersects the uh, x-axis when y is equal to 0. So I get 18 minus 3x. Okay, so I can easily see that's x equals 6. So this point is 6 common 0. Okay, so that length, since I went from 3 to 6, its length is 3 there. Okay, so I have 1 half base times height. That's the area of the triangle. And I'm just trying to find the area of S. So I want to subtract out this red region here. Okay, so that region is can be found by integrating from 3 to this point here. So I need to find that as well. Um, and it's going to be the top curve minus the bottom. So my top curve was that 4x squared minus x cubed. And the bottom is just 0. So basically I need to find this point here. 
So if I'm going to find that point, it's where f of x is equal to 0. So it's where my y value is 0. You can pull out an x squared. When you do that, you have 4 minus x. So that, that point right there is 4. So that x value is 4. So I'm going from 3 to 4. So it's half of 27 minus, you can integrate this part. Uh, you can pretty quickly do your, use your calculator, or you could just do it by hand. This is a calculator question, though, so let's go ahead and do our math 9. So finite integration, 4x squared minus x cubed. Going, the x values are going from 3 to 4. I get 67 over 12. So subtracting them, I get 95 over 12. Or 7.916, repeating. So 7.916 or 7.917. Okay, so that's part B. Let's go ahead and do part C. So part C says find the volume of the solid generated when R is revolved about the x-axis. Okay, so looking at our picture, get rid of some of these things here. So looking at your picture, if I'm going around the x-axis, that means that I need, I need everything in terms of x when I'm integrating. So integrate with respect to x. And I'm going to have my outer radius. There is no inner radius. So my outer radius is just that. So it's 4x squared minus x cubed. And I'm going from 0 to, we found this value, it was 4. All right, so let's set this up. So part C, my volume is going to be pi, my outer radius squared, from 0 to 4. Again, you can pretty quickly do this with math 9. Uh, so you get 156.038 times pi, or you get 490.208 when you multiply pi in. Okay, so let's see what we get different points for. Let's see if we got all of our points. Oops, I'm on the wrong one. So for part A, we got a point for finding f prime of 3 and f of 3, so finding the slope and the y value. We got another point for finding the equation of the tangent line or showing that 3, 9 is on both f and the line out. So we got both points there. Part B, we get two points for having the integral for non-triangular region. So that was the part that was uh, between r. So that was, I can go back to my picture. It was... Uh, Oops. It was this part right in here. Okay, so we got a point for finding that area. Uh, we got a point for using the correct, uh, one of those points was for having the correct limits, one, one point for, was for setting up the correct integral, one point for the area of the triangular region, and then one point for the answer. And then the last one, we had three points for the final one. We had one point for the limits and constants, so one point for the 4 and 0 and the pi, so having all three of those. One point for the 4x squared minus x cubed squared, and one point for the answer. So, good.